Sheriff finds this spot, he'll do some tall riding. I'll bet no one's lived here in 50 years. How'd you happen to think of this place? I holed up here last winter when I made that Red River hole. Not even a coyote bothered. I'll unload the grub. All right, bring it inside. I think the bunk is still there. And say, listen, don't forget to hide those horses up. Right. Will you please stop that whistling? How can you be so happy in this cactus-infected dust bowl? Oh, I never was so happy in my life. In a few more miles, we'll be in a thriving city. The sole possessor of the only restaurant in town. For ham and eggs sell for two and a half a plate. Steaks are four dollars. And with onion six, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and if I'd have known my geography, you'd have never hooked me for a half interest in a restaurant that you bought from a stranger. <laughs> and with my money. <laughs> I'm a pretty good judge of character. The only mistake that I ever made in my life was when I took you in for a partner. Uh, how many people did you say were in this town? Well, let's see, the census in 1880 was 5,000. By now it must be 100,000. 100,000? And this is the only restaurant in town? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody around here is crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me. To think was what? If it wasn't for your pretty little sister here, you wouldn't be in on this deal at all. Oh, brother, it'd be such a big help to us out there. I got a notion to put you in the... Oh, oh you almost threw brother out. Yeah, I wish I'd thrown him out before we started. Remember, this is my car. Oh, is that... Oh, is that... Oh, is that... satisfied you've broken my headlights. Oh, and it's going to be dark soon, too. Oh, if your brother kept his mouth shut, everything would have been all right. All right, from now on, I'm driving this car. Oh, you're going to drive it, huh? Oh, well, I guess I can drive my own car, can I? Yeah, if you want to drive the car, go oh, ahead. Wait a minute. Sir, you knocked over the signpost. Now how are you going to know which way to go? <laughs> all right, are we going to stay in this graveyard? <laughs> Well, now that we don't know where we are, why don't you let Brother drive? Who don't know where they are? All right, you big stiff, where are we? We're, uh, we're going, uh... Huh? Oh, don't be so stubborn, dear. We're going straight ahead. Where? That right. way? Uh, Listen, we're, we're, we're going to turn back with the last time I go. This way, I'm telling you something, man. This last thing we're going straight ahead. No, we're not going to go straight ahead. We're going down that way, young man. Sorry. Oh, brother, I didn't mean it, dear. I didn't mean it at all. It's... Well, what do you want now? I just want to see where the road is on the map. Never mind where the road is. I know where it is. It's right there. What, that black line with those cross marks? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not a road. Read what it says. Death Valley. <laughs> well, what are you going to do now? Keep on going! Oh, all right. <laughs> you sure look silly there, Edgar. <laughs> Get in the car! Right, well, start it up! Whoa, a detour! What's the matter, Ed? Oh. Uh, Where's 
all right. I know how to fix them. This will fix What do you think of that? He likes you, dear. Yeah, loves me. <laughs> oh, that's a swell idea. Yes, he loves me. It worked out all right. <laughs> See? I did it. Well, come on, let's keep going. Oh, the car's rolling away. It's gonna catch on fire, Edgar. Oh, get some water, quick, somebody. Oh, oh, oh fire. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, Ed, what do we do? Where's the shovel? Where's the shovel? Oh, get some. What you have to do, you have to throw sand on them. Sand's what you need on these things. I'm not kidding you. I knew we were here. <laughs> well, if this is it, where's the hundred thousand people? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess they're not up yet, huh? Oh. Well, I'll go on over to the restaurant and order breakfast and tell them that I'm the new owner. Hey, wait a minute. We're the new owners, fathead.
I guess you got a sheriff. Sheriff? Oh, I'm no sheriff. I'm the new owner of this place. Now, come on, quit playing games, will you? You ain't no sheriff. No, I'm no sheriff. Let's see you ain't got no guns. Oh, Lord, I haven't got any guns. How'd you get here? I came in my automobile. Oh, he's got a gas buggy. Yeah. Did you ever heard one of them things, Pete? Oh, I never learned. Well, <clears throat> guess how... We're going now. Yeah, oh, wait yeah, a minute. Man. We need a driver. <laughs> get those bags. Come on, get out to that car. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, well. What do I want to go to the car for? Get going. Oh, boy, I don't want to get going. I had all this trouble getting here. Go on. Uh, I... Well, Go on, get in there. Grab those reins. I take him out of town. language. What's your trouble? What do you got back there? Oh, they've gone. They've gone. So are you. No. Look, two men held me up and made me drive them out here and my wife's back there. Back where? Back in Gold Nugget. Oh, Sheriff, you got to come back with me. Well, come on, let's go. Dear. What do you mean, driving away, leaving me here? Why, I didn't drive away and leave you. I was kidnapped. Oh, by whom? By two gunmen. Uh, you couldn't mean me to. <laughs> well, if it ain't the missus, Red Pete and Rusty Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> well, young lady, you did a nice piece of work, which entitles you to a $500 reward. Now, if you take this over at the county seat, you can get your money. Oh, five hundred dollars, that's enough to fix up our restaurant. Uh, you mean our restaurant, Baldy? Well, restaurant? Here? Yes, yeah, that's my restaurant right over there. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they have nobody lived in this place for 50 years. This is a ghost town. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, I'm... 